Ladies and gentlemen, KK Mira, welcome to the daily update. Hope you guys had a good day trading today. Market is pretty much flat there on the S&P. Same with the semiconductor. Uh, I mean, Nasdaq and semiconductor Dow also flat. Russell 2000 transport down a little bit. Banks flat, energy up about 1%. Biotech, healthcare, home builders down about half a percentage percentages each and utilities up about 1.3 retail up 0.6 looks like emerging market is down about 0.3 percent there so it looks like a flat day pretty much we got some indices and some sectors up a little bit down a little bit but pretty much it looks like a flat there today bitcoin is down half a percentage uh gold silver miners up a little bit down a little bit uh, dollar half a percentage positive oil up a little bit treasury bond is red vix is uh green slightly there let's see what s&p 500 etf spider 65 minute chart here so it looks like we gapped up right this is where we closed on friday night and then we gapped up this is where we open right and then it faded it right and it looks like that was a level right the resistance level there now bulls have to deal with this resistance level now that it has gone through uh you know some of these uh you know prior resistance and reclaiming those levels right we're talking about here here some of these uh resistance levels that had to go through there's a resistance <clears throat> there was <clears throat> excuse me there's a resistance level like right here Kind of went through that and there's a horizontal resistance there there's another kind of pivot there so bulls kind of gone through all that right you can see here here and even gapped up today and there's another resistance there's always going to be resistance right this is life this is market there's always constantly gonna be resistance Bro, only, only question is are we going to able to break above that resistance right that's a prior all-time high peak that was at lower high and we're right there resistance right and then with that we did see that uh in the second hour uh coming down and then the third hour we saw rather big red candle and towards the end of the hour on that third hour looks like dip buyers came in brought it right back up here so i mean this level this vicinity obviously 467 and 466 has been that support all throughout the day today but bulls i mean the bears were not able to bring the price or keep the price below 467.09 as you can see micro term support at work that's a, a third hour that's a fourth hour that's a fifth hour and that's the last hour right so we've been holding up above that and uh, potentially some sort of inverted head and shoulder of some kind um we don't know yet yet on this uh you know we're seeing i don't know this is is it gonna be a bull pennant pattern of some kind before breaking up to the upside or are the bears gonna argue this is some more some kind of short term uh you know bear flag before we're going to 466 and maybe even retesting uh 465 65 which is my short term moving average is residing in that vicinity how can we determine how can we figure that out uh well it will be very very important how this market plays our first two hours of tomorrow morning's price action but i think a little bit tricky here because i think even though if we do see some kind of a two hours bullish move if that two hours two hours bullish move is be below my crane is acting up here if it's a below this resistance like this then it's still tricky right it, let's say on the second hour came about right and then we're we're hanging out below this resistance then we have to see how the market actually closes for the day however let's say in the first two hours we see i don't know gap up or some bullish move right and then we see something like this on the second hour breaking above this falling resistance and this peak and this thing holds above both of the levels then maybe third hour fourth hour something like that and i think there's a good chance market is ready for 470 right so that's kind of how you want to determine how the market might be playing out for the rest of the day tomorrow but keep in mind that resistance is going to be a key level to watch out for again 
it has to clear above that and hold above it for about two hours to before we can determine that you know buyers are possibly reclaiming that resistance obviously right but let's say you know there's a shenanigan come and this is a good level this is a good uh you know as far as like overall levels concerned it, just because of the market uh, has been you know what i mean i think everybody's anticipating some kind of rally now that we're seeing some couple days of bullish run uh even if today's gap up is a little bit you know what i mean questionable at best we see a gap up but we didn't see a follow through to the upside that gap got filled right away and i wonder if everybody's kind of thinking like oh my god we're just gonna get right back up to the old time highs and it's just gonna be really really good and everything's gonna be just super dandy right once most market participants think this way you know what's gonna happen in the market well market is gonna give you shenanigans so keep that in mind this is a good level for that kind of a sort of a you know price action little shenanigan to kind of keep you guessing keep you fearful keep you anxious right let's check out that officer and see if you can extract any more information well, you can see Oscillator actually crossed down. Another thing we have to realize is Oscillator did not push all the way to the top of his band. If you've been watching my daily update videos this entire year, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Fair to push it all the way to the top of his band. It shows weakness in this you know recent rally and then we're right on that resistance not able to get back up to the all-time high level we start to kind of fizzle and start to like lose this momentum i won't be surprised to see this in coming back down retesting that 463 right this gap right here keep in mind there's a rising paper rising support in that vicinity also so this vicinity might be get retested if this thing right here this this cross materializes right but bulls need to do obviously break above that pivot i mean the resistance not pivot that's not pivot that's a resistance it will become a pivot when can this become pivot this thing goes up comes back down and then get up then prior resistance acting this way yeah then that's a pivot right now it's a resistance right if we do see something like that if this thing gets above this resistance then you know i could kind of see that okay you know what this thing is going to little cross and gets right back up or if this thing starts to really come down here we start to lose this momentum for 63 i think could be happening so this is a juncture where kind of that little shenanigan could happen so tomorrow will be very very important at least first two hours how this market is going to react with this uh falling resistance and how this market is going to react or behave uh I don't, not about how this how, how this oscillator is gonna behave according to the price section what's gonna happen tomorrow morning so i'm gonna tweet things out you can follow me at 2k cam i'm gonna tweet things out in the morning or afternoon and then i'm gonna kind of give you guys a little quick you know update on this and then i'll come back for you tomorrow night we'll reassess the situation right enjoy your evening and good luck training tomorrow